I have been tagged by you guys in every single version of this PH5 dress. It's called the wave dress and I haven't gotten it yet because it's expensive. It's almost $600. I finally caved when I saw this version of it. This one that looks like it glows in the dark. How can I not get it? So I did. <sighs> the fabric. It's like a thick knit material. It looks absolutely unreal. Look at this thing. This might be one of my favorite dresses I have ever bought. The only sad thing about it is it doesn't actually glow in the dark, but we're gonna fix that. I have a couple different types of glow in the dark fabric paint. We're gonna go along the line and make it glow. And then also like a little stipple effect to mimic the design on the dress. And I think it's gonna be really cool. So while this dries, we have seven more satisfying products that the internet made me buy. And we're going to be ranking them based on how satisfying they actually end up being. There are some phenomenons on this planet that are literally so magical. And one of those is bioluminescent water or the bioluminescent organisms that make water glow like this. How is that real? <laughs> it is one of my dreams to go play in bioluminescent water. I didn't know that they can wash up onto shore and create bioluminescent seaweed and sand. So for those of us that may not get the chance to actually see this in real life, TikTok showed me this product as another option. It is a bioluminescent orb that you can just have at your house and it has the same effect. <laughs> of course I bought one and I'm really, really hoping that it works. I'm a little bit nervous about this perishable open immediately because I did not open it immediately. <gasps> I think this is the part that's alive. It literally looks like meat or something. I mean, it's not leaking, so that's a good sign. Mm. Hyrodinos, there they are. Do not drink. My intrusive thoughts are really wondering what would happen if you drank this. <laughs> okay, and then it also comes with nutrient enriched seawater. I think this is the little orb it goes in. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Mm. Everything is in one piece. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I really hope this works. Okay, instructions say pour the contents of the white Hyrodinos in. Wait, you can kind of see them. Wow. Oh, that's so weird. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, we fed these guys. We let them sit in the dark for a little while and now it's time to test them. Okay, lights out. And, oh, oh my gosh. It only worked for a second, but it definitely worked. Do you want one? Absolutely. Ask me how much dumpling making experience I have. Zero. But when I saw this little dumpling maker, these are so cute and they look pretty easy to use. I ordered one because they were only $13.99 on Amazon. And we're gonna test it out. There's a restaurant called Din Tai Fung and they have these dessert dumplings that have chocolate in the middle. So that is what we are going to be attempting to make today. Time for our cute little dumpling maker. <gasps> Here it is. <laughs> I'm so excited for dumplings. How does this work? If this works, it's gonna be so satisfying. All right, here's our dough. So step one, make a little dough ball, then roll it out so that it's a really, really thin circle. Then we cookie cutter it. <gasps> so cute. Okay, time to put our chocolate in. All right, time to see if it works. Ready? Ooh. Oh! Oh! <sighs> oh, cute. That one looks done for sure. These ones, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Lee has joined the taste test. <laughs> okay, here they are. Honestly, this one looks great. I don't know about the other one. Let's see how the dough tastes. Mmm, mm. that's pretty good. I don't know how much the little machine actually like helped or if it would have been easier to just hand make them, but I'll give it like a on the satisfying scale, but these taste good. As you know, I love pretty nails, but I have this problem where I break them <gasps> all. <laughs> That's so, so I've been trying to think of creative ways that I can just take my natural short nail and make it look cute. And we might have a satisfying solution. These are called aura nails. How cool are those? It's literally just like translucent, but with the coolest glowing chrome finish. And I was like, okay, what nail polish do I need to get this effect? Well, it's not exactly exactly a nail polish. I thought I could just quickly, cheaply do this at home, but I had to buy $81 worth of product. <laughs> Step one, you need an actual gel nail polish that requires like a UV light, so base coat. And then you have to get this chrome top coat, which you can find on Amazon. It's just kind of pricey. And then you're going to take ear 
iridescent chrome powder and rub it all over the nails. And you're part of the way there. You could stop here, but to get that aura look, there's one more step. You have to get iridescent transfer foil paper. <laughs> you place a strip of it on the nail, hit it with a UV light, and then when you peel it off, you have the really cool effect. Ooh future hope. How did it go? I mean, it's definitely not exactly like the TikTok. Here's a video of them in the dark with a flash. You can definitely see the aura the most on the thumb where I did the foil paper, but I just don't like how obvious you can see the paper. I think I followed all the steps correctly, but on our satisfying scale, I'll give them like a B. Okay, this next product took a while for me to hunt down. This popped up on my For You page. It's a silver pen, but you click it. I don't even know how that happens, but it's so cool. It's from a brand called Crush Metric, and they make these pens in a whole bunch of different colors. They also have a water bottle that does this. I wish I would have known. I would have gotten that too. I don't know what kind of crazy technology this is, but I have one and I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, let's see if it works. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to do it slow like the TikTok, but it's hard. Oh, there it goes. <gasps> That's so cool. The sound is also so satisfying. Oh my gosh, if you are a fidgeter in class, this is the perfect product for you. I'd be so annoyed if the kid next to me was so <laughs> This is the coolest thing ever. I want every color and the water bottle. Ooh, it's like a nice pen too. So where do we rank it on satisfying? Honestly, I think this is solid S tier. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> okay, this next satisfying product is one that so many of you have tagged me in. It's these tape bubble balls that you can make. Literally out of tape that you stick together, you can fill it with like glitter and stuff. I have no idea how it works and how it stays together, but I think these are so cool. There's even some that people have made where you can put like different liquids in it with some food coloring and they turn out awesome. So we're gonna try to make one today. Whoa. No, not my stupid peel ball. <laughs> please work, please work. Or Bad more. memories. Okay, here's our kit. This was $18.88 on Amazon and it comes with, I think, everything we need. <gasps> what are these stickers? These are hilarious. We <laughs> can give our tape bubble a face. Okay, and then two big rolls of our tape. Everything looks easier on TikTok than it actually is. Okay, we've got our tape box and now we fill it with glitter. Let's go with the little hearts. Cute. Now for the top of our bubble. Okay, so after we make the box, we peel off the plastic. That is easier said than done. Ugh. All this work, don't ruin now. Oh no. <gasps> I mean, <laughs> Okay, I think this one's done for. This just looks like the end result of theirs after they pop it. <laughs> okay, I feel good about this one. I think I was starting with too advanced of a design, so yeah. here we just have two pieces of tape. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I don't know about this. I'm gonna give it the sad face because that's how I feel about this activity. Me right now blowing these bubbles. <laughs> 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 On the satisfying rank scale, F. Peyton got it to kind of work. Only like one side of the cube actually expanded. I mean, it is kind of fun. Okay, it's a little bit satisfying. Okay, time to pop. <gasps> uh, it's hard to pop. All right, fine, we'll bump it up to a D on the tier scale. This next video is from TikTok and it has over 45 million views. It's this glass. I don't even really know how this works at all, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of want to know what would happen if you put the liquid in the straw. Like, could you fill the cup up that way? Either way, I went searching for this and it's called a straw teeny glass. And I got a few different, very unique kinds. Take it away, Chef Hope. Okay, so this is the one that was from the actual video. <gasps> Oh no, it's broken. Good thing I have three more. <laughs> they have like little feet and a tail. I'm obsessed with these. And a friend for it. And this one is, ooh, this one's pretty cool too though. <laughs> I mean, they're still gonna be cool, even though we didn't get the actual one. That one's huge. <laughs> okay, time to fill them up and see if it's as satisfying as it looked. All right, gravity. Ooh, 
I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay, but now I have to know what happens when you fill it up from the straw. No, it worked. Oh, except I went a little too fast, but <gasps> you can fill it up from the straw. I love this. <laughs> okay, our next satisfying product is one that a lot of you have tagged me in also. It's this sand, but when you pour it into water, it does this. It's called hydrophobic sand or aqua sand. And I found it on Amazon for $15.86 and Look at all the colors you get. It doesn't come with very much though, so I'm hoping you can get it back out of the water. So fun. Okay, let's try this yellow one. I'm so interested to see what happens. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Whoa. That looks crazy. <laughs> Look at it down there. Oh, and I have to shove my hand in and get it out though, huh? <laughs> Can we get it out now? Oh, it feels so weird. Oh my gosh, it is dry. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, you can literally put the dry sand back in. My mind is blown. You can see where some water got in the container and it's still repelling it. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty cool. It's definitely a little bit messy, but good to know you can reuse most of it. Okay, let's try it in this shallower one. Okay, here it goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks so cool. In your clear shoes. <gasps> I should put it in my clear shoes. Oh my gosh. Dang, even if you try to get it to dissolve, it still doesn't do anything. I'm not gonna lie, this one's pretty fun. I just don't know how long it would be fun for because you can't like make anything out of it. So I'll give this one a B on the satisfying ratings. <gasps> oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> I'm done with this stuff. To... Okay, it's time to see if our little DIY project worked. Lights out. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Ooh. All right, here are the final rankings for our satisfying products. Overall, I feel like we had some pretty good ones. Make sure to check out my other satisfying products video if you haven't seen that one yet. Enjoy the next video.